so the average sail lasts, uh, it's different depending on what they're using the sail for. So if it's one of these laminate racing sails, they can last anywhere from one or two seasons up to maybe six or so. And people get rid of their old sails and they're just going to throw them away or leave them in their garage and it's perfectly giant good piece of fabric that's just going to get thrown away. first child and we were just exploring different options you know, for shoes, different things like that. And as she got older we realized the shoes on the market were just not what we wanted. We met a lady who was making shoes for children. Her philosophy was um, barefoot is best even in the 80s and we agreed with her totally. Soft Star Shoes started in 1984 when Tim Oliver and his wife Jeannie um, wanted to do something different than their day jobs. And so they purchased um, a set of dyes and started making um, great moccasins for their daughter. Soft Star Shoes didn't really go looking for the running market. The runners actually found Soft Star. They, they would say things like, I was running a marathon in your moccasins. And we were like, whoa, wait, wait back up. <laughs> what did you just do? And that kind of got us started on a path to finding out what was this all about. And so we took our moccasin and sort of reimagined it as a running shoe. I used to work at a sail loft originally and that's how I learned how to sew. I'm a firm believer in letting you make mistakes and you learn from each one and try to not make the same one twice and that's a good way to get to uh, an end point. So I'd stay after work and make you know, little bags for myself or my girlfriend at the time and just uh, experimenting and making little messenger bags and backpacks eventually. So this is called the drop liner pack. There's this big free floating liner on the inside here that's seam sealed to be waterproof. Um, you know, a lot of recycled materials on the outside and on the inside. This is this is old sailcloth right here, and the liner is all dry suit fabric. Liner, I have a relationship built up with these dry suit factories just outside of town, and uh, you know, same for them. Smaller pieces of fabric that they can't use to make suits, they end up throwing away. The fact that all the fabrics are on a limited run, more or less, so every bag is different, you know. For example, the dry suit factory will stop ordering yellow fabric, and once they run out of it, then I don't have it anymore, so it's kind of a weird business model in that respect. The impact of that is that it's, it's cooler, because your bag is going to be a limited edition. Maybe 200 years ago, we wouldn't have been that different, um, but today we're very different. Soft our shoes are all constructed right here in our workshop in Corvallis, Oregon. The Dash Run Amok is starts with leathers that are sourced here in the United States and we cut them out. We literally look at every pair and we make sure the leather and the materials are perfect for that size, for that style. We have a lot of high-tech tools like broomsticks and hammers and just uh, our, our hands and put them together. And I think just being able to match the materials with the style and the shoe is what's good. And also, just, I mean, it's corny, but just a little bit of love in there when we're making it. I mean, we really do like what we do, and we put a lot of our energy into what we're making. So I think, you know, it matters. It's a, a love and a passion for doing things by hand. And we laugh sometimes at the people who love our shoes most are people who hate wearing shoes. Um, but I, I like the recycled stuff. I like when it's got a texture to it and it's kind of had a life to it previously. So especially for the old sails, they have you know stitching patterns on there from when it was a sail and wrinkles and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So I like like the old school exterior with the new school seam sealed, waterproof, super bright interiors. That's kind of my my jams. It's nice to be able to make a bag that has memories attached to it. 